bring it on. Okay, today I'm gonna try and help out a little bit by sh throwing out some combat tips for those that might be struggling with uh, Batman's combat system. I'm not an expert by any means, but do have a basic understanding of the game's combat system and how it works and such. Um, first and foremost, use redirects a lot. Or enemy dodge, whatever you want to call it. I mean, everybody called it dodge in Arkham Asylum. It's technically called redirect or you jump over enemies. You're gonna see me use them all the time. I'll hit somebody and jump, hit somebody and jump. This is a, actually a very good technique because what it does is it enables you to control the engagement entirely. You decide when an enemy can attack you and you know when an enemy is gonna be hit. You know, they really have no say in the matter. As you can see, I'm just hitting and jumping, hitting and jumping. That way, they don't have a chance to hit me because you know, you dodge over an enemy and Batman is in invincibility frames while redirecting. You know, you can't be hurt. There's another thing to make note of. Also, the other invincibility frames, uh, anytime you're in a special combo move, one of the four, like that, Batman cannot be damaged by anything but gunfire. He can be shot while doing those. Something to make note of. Uh, he's also immu immune to damage during c a counter. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Those five moves, well, six moves, I guess if you count the redirect also, are Batman is immune to all damage, so except gunfire. So, something to keep note of. Up next, I'm going to show how to get the 12 variation for those that are struggling with that. Uh, the best way to do it is to just, you know, write all the moves down and then work on all of them until you feel comfortable doing them. Eventually, you're just gonna, you know, it, feel, it seems like a lot, it's 12 moves, like holy shit, it's 12 moves. But as you do them enough, eventually it's gonna feel like nothing. Like right now, I've got strike, counter, and redirect done. There's three, okay. That, those are the three most basic moves, everybody should be able to do them. Next, I do disarm and destroy as the first special move, if possible, because that one gives me the most trouble, that button combination. So I like to get that one out of the way. If the combo is gonna fail, then it'll be early on and I can resume from there. This aerial attack, which I did fifth, I, I made a mistake here. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that move, but it worked all the same. You can work aerial attack in at any time. Then I like to get multi-ground takedown out of the way because, you know, this move doesn't score very high points, 20 times, whatever. It's, it's not very big and I just like to, you know, get rid of it because there are bigger special combo points here. Like this, Bat Swarm. This is a this is a good one to use later on in a fight too, because of its big combo points you can get when you hit large groups of people with it. So I use that usually do that one third. Then moving on, we have the combo takedown. A lot of times I'll wait till later on to use this because of its big point multiplier. You get fifty times combo for that. Then the gadget. Combo Batarang's the easiest to use, and I recommend using that one. Don't even fuck around with the Bat Claw, because sometimes that doesn't always work as far as flowing with a combo. I've had the Bat Claw's, you know, strike totally not work correctly for some reason. Then we got the Beatdown Finisher, which I like to follow, you know, use a Bat Swarm first to stun any nearby enemies. That way you have time to pull the move off. So the beatdown finisher can be hard to work in, being that uh, it takes a lot of time and you're completely vulnerable while using it. And then finally, we third, or not finally, dumbass, we have the ultra stun at number 11. This is also a move that you can work in earlier if you're skilled, or just have a lot of practice with it, or have a nice opening. And then finally we have the ground pound, which is the big points. And again, if you're skilled, you can work this in earlier on in the combo, but I like to use it near the, the end when I've got a bigger combo multiplier because you're getting 75 times whatever your combo is. Advice. So a lot of points that way. Although if you're just trying to learn the combat system, you're not going to care so much about giant scores, but more so the flow. But yeah, so I recommend trying to work the ground pound in later on in, in the round if you're still struggling with it. That way you don't have as much of a chance to being hit while you're doing it, because that move also takes a lot of time. As you can see, I'm redirecting a lot. I'll, I'll only generally encounter once or twice. Now, it takes a lot of time to do. 
You're not exact necessarily vulnerable while doing it. I mean, you can counter and then, you know, punch somebody or, you know, but I like to just do it once to get the move out of the way because, honestly, I don't like to damage these guys unless I'm ready to damage these guys. Another thing also, notice that I'm redirecting, and after redirecting, when you get your critical strikes going after, like, the fifth hit, or the fourth hit, actually, just press your square or X button one time. That's it. If you mash it, you won't get the critical strike, you won't get the, you know, the times, the, the double combo multiplier, so, yeah. Definitely don't want to button mash. The only time you ever want to button mash in this game is when you're performing a beatdown finisher. That is the only time you should ever be mashing any buttons. You know, otherwise, just take it nice and easy and, you know, put in each command one at a time. I mean, when you get going, it looks like you're just kicking ass, but... In the end, you're just sitting on the couch chilling out, and, you know, just hitting a button here and there. That's that's how simple it is. Or at least that's how simple it feels to me. So, yeah, I've practiced a lot, and you will be practicing a lot, especially if you're going to go for big scores and such. I uh, just take it slow, take it easy, you know, one at a time. Another thing about the combat, um, be careful with your camera use also. You know, you have complete control of the camera with your right stick, but uh, I don't recommend rotating the camera as you're giving a command, because sometimes the camera will move, but Batman will execute the last move to where you told him to, which could result in a failure. Anyway, that's not a world record score or anything. It's not even that good, but uh, that wasn't the whole point. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.